Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how I determine the upper and lower levels for a grid bot. In addition to, I will show you how I adjust the grid spacing to achieve maximum profitability. And I will be deploying the bot by the end of the video on the Bitscap platform. And they actually have two different types of grid bots. One is an S-Bot and one is a classic bot. And I will show you how I choose between those two different bots. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, they are an all-in-one crypto trading platform. They actually offer a trading terminal that I use to day trade on. They have an arbitrage feature. You can also demo or paper trade your strategies. And today we'll be focusing on their grid bot. Now, if you're wondering what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually start for free, zero dollars. I will put a link in the description down below. And if you use my link, you'll receive the pro account for 14 days for free. And the pro plan is the plan that I actually have. Now, after your 14 day trial, you can actually get going for $19 a month and that will get you two active live trading bots or you could step up to the advanced plan for $44 a month and that will get you five active trading bots. I typically have no more than somewhere between five to 10 active trading bots. So the advanced plan certainly should satisfy the majority of you. Whereas with the basic plan, if you're new to grid bot trading would be a perfect point to enter. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring this bot. So you start from the Bitscap bots dashboard, as you can see across the top menu here, they have a variety of options. I'm on the bots option. I need to select a strategy and they have two strategies, S-Bot or Classic Bot. We'll start with the S-Bot and then I'll follow up with pretty much the same settings on the Classic Bot and determine which one will be the most profitable for the pair that I've selected. The next thing you need to do is select your exchange. I will be deploying this bot on the Binance exchange. Now, if you're new, you can add your exchanges by clicking on my exchanges and add a new exchange. You're going to connect your exchange via API keys. So your money actually stays on your exchange. It never goes to Bitscap. You're not sending money to Bitscap. And so your crypto is as secure as it can be when it's on an exchange. So after you've done all that, you will need to select your exchange and in this case i'll be deploying the bot on binance so the next option is the pair that you're going to use and today i will be using the grt or the graph token as the base currency and btc is going to be my quote currency now the reason i selected btc as my quote currency is kind of twofold one I want to collect all my profit in BTC, so I'm essentially stacking sats. I'm just collecting Satoshis and growing my Bitcoin collection. In addition to that, I did some recon already, and it appears that GRT performs better against BTC as the quote currency versus a stable coin like USDT as the quote currency. So again, these videos are how-to videos, not how to copy. So you will need to do some of your own recon when you deploy a grid bot. All right, so now I have my pair selected. The next thing I need to adjust is gonna be my lower price and my upper price. You can squeeze this chart down and just basically click and drag your upper price down. And in this case, I'm gonna drag it into approximately this region. I'll probably make some adjustments. And what I'm looking at in this area is resistance. I typically set my upper level somewhere near prior resistance. So you just look back, check your six, and see prior resistance. The price action has a hard time breaking through this level and it keeps rejecting which is ideal for a grid bot because you want this choppy action in order to capture profit. Next, I need to adjust my lower level and same thing, drag my lower level up into, I don't have a consistent support level, so I'm gonna drop it at the most recent level of support in this region here. And that gives me room to maybe put a stop loss under this area and because if we break down through here, who knows where we're going from there. Now that I have these dropped in place, you can see I actually have some figures here and I'm just gonna fine tune them a little. I want that to be 329 
and I want this to be 409. Now that gets my grid set. So all these green lines and red lines are considered the grid. And the grid is made up of limit orders. So each red line is a sell limit order and each green line is a buy limit order. So as the price action moves down, it would be buying as it hit these green lines on the limit orders. As the price action moves up, it is actually selling on these limit orders on the way up. And the idea is you want a lot of volatility or choppiness in that price action to generate as many buys and sells as you can to be profitable. Now, if you're curious why I didn't set my upper level any higher that perhaps the price breaches this level, I'm covered with BitScap. They have a trailing up feature and that will basically follow the price up as the price action moves up and I have that enabled. So now I have my grid set as far as upper lower level. Now I need to figure out my spacing, the distance between each one of these lines, and that will actually determine my profit. So I really want to dial that in. So my grid step percentage or spacing percentage is what's going to actually generate my profit. And I typically shoot for about 0.49% and maybe at the higher end 0.99%. In this case, we're going to start with 0.53%. And when I type that in, it will automatically adjust the number of grid levels. Same thing here. If I was to type in grid levels, it would adjust my grid spacing on the S bot. But I'm pretty sure I want this to be 0.53 as far as my grid spacing goes. So with that set, I'm going to click the back test real quick. And it looks pretty good. I generally shoot for 1% a day. I'm over that 1% a day all the way across the board. Let's see if I can improve that at all. If I add a grid, I don't actually change my grid spacing. Let's see how that might affect the results. That actually improved the results just slightly, but it still improved it. Now let's bump this to 54 and see what we end up with here. And let's go up one grid if it will let us. It will not. And so I will stick with the 41 and 0.53. We're looking at approximately a 3.27% profit. Now let's configure the classic bot and see what type of results we might get. And overall, the difference between the S bot and the classic bot, the S bot tends to work better in a consolidating or sideways moving market and perhaps maybe even trending up slightly where the classic bot works best if it's really trending up not so great for sideways and they both seem to work best with a lot of volatility so i've selected the classic bot i'm going to have the same upper and lower levels that doesn't actually change so i'm just going to punch those in here i don't have to click and drag because we already know these levels exist my grid spacing I want to get to around that 53 mark. So I need to lower my grid levels until I get to the 0.53% level. So I'll only end up with 30 grids. I'll have less grids, but the same type of grid spacing. And so we click back test and the results are actually far superior. We went from 3.27% to five, almost five and a half percent. And you can see on the daily and monthly, the returns are substantially better. So with these figures, that would tell you that the classic bot is perhaps the better bot to deploy. But keep in mind, back test results do not guarantee future results. It's more of you just doing your recon and then you've got to make that call. But in this case, I am going to make the call to deploy this bot on the classic bot, Binance, GRT, BTC. Now I need to give it some ammo so how much ammo am i going to give it i typically run my bots around the 500 hundred dollar level and once i go too far back on the slider bar the box turns red that means i don't have enough ammo for the bot to actually execute the complete grid so i'll slide this bar up and in this case i'm going to give the bot 50 percent which will be 404 dollars it's just the way that works out. And so as we get ready to deploy the bot, I have my lower level, my upper level, my grid step, 
my grid levels of 30. Take profit is an option that they offer. I don't typically use because I'm going to let my grid bot run as long as it stays within the grid and is profitable. Now you could set a grid profit at say 5%. Once the spot achieves 5% profit, close it down or 20%, whatever number your heart desires. I just don't use that feature myself. And then a stop loss. If you watch my videos, you know my theory on a stop loss. But if you're new, I'll say it again. Not having a stop loss is like not using armor when you go into battle. Eventually, you're going to get killed. And so my stop loss is going to be in this area. And so I click on the stop loss and I can set that or drag it. And I'm going to drag it just under this candle dipping down here. Now these wicks, now you can see if you look further back, these wicks do actually breach this level. But I'm more interested if this level breaks down, are we going to crash down? And if that's the case, I rather stop the bot, regroup, come up with a new battle plan and deploy a new bot. So now I have the stop loss in place and I'm ready to deploy this bot. So I click start and it's going to let me know that to start this bot, it's necessary to buy 45 GRT tokens. And the reason it's necessary to buy those tokens is it needs to have those tokens in place to satisfy these limit sell orders, the red lines of the grid. And so you have to actually hold some GRT and I don't currently hold GRT. Now, with that all being said, another reason I picked this pair, GRT, BTC, I'm happy holding either coin. Worst case scenario, I'm bullish on both currencies. So it's a win-win for me regardless of which currency I'm holding. So I hit start. It gives me that message that I need those 45 GRT. I click yes, buy. You'll see that my market order has been placed. My market order was immediately filled. And you see the grid starting to fill in. The green lines and red lines. And bot has started. And that pretty much wraps it up. I just really wanted to answer a common question I see in the comments down below and in my Telegram community group. So with that all being said, I will be doing an update video on this bot. So be sure to shoot that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments on the configuration of that bot, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Or you might check out the Telegram community. There's a lot of folks on there that answer a lot of questions. I day trade all day long, so I'm not always available to answer questions. So you might check out the Telegram community. There's a link for that down in the description below. I'll also leave a link to Bitscap in the description below so you can get that 14 day free trial of the pro plan. And if you like the video, do me a favor, spike a like. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.